Your ability to control your thoughts or your mind or your consciousness is often seen as the holy grail. It's something that's fascinated me all throughout my entire career. I've studied things like silver method, transcendental meditation, hypnosis, mindfulness, lucid dreaming, remote viewing, all these things really in an attempt to understand what shifting or directing consciousness is truly all about. This tracks right back to when I was a child and when my mum would ask me to get the children to settle down, my two younger sisters, by telling them stories. And as I told them stories, I'd see their imagination being activated and eventually they'd giggle and laugh, but ultimately they'd settle down and they'd go off asleep. Now, I didn't know at the time, but what I was actually doing was inducing a trance, stories induced trance, and so the words. Now, I'm a trained hypnoanalyst, and part of my initial training was to pay close attention to the words that I use. The reality is, words are only one form of suggestion. You can actually activate the imagination or induce suggestion through different means. And so, at that time, when the children were just drifting off into sleep and their imagination was being activated, what I didn't know is that that's a natural state of consciousness that you slip into every single night before you go to sleep, the alpha state. And in that state, you're highly suggestible. So rather than using words, which we're doing a course which will train you how to do if you'd like to come along, but rather than using words for you, try this. Try just running a movie inside your mind of how you want your tomorrow to be. Because as you do that, in the state of consciousness that you are in, just a bridge before sleep, you'll be creating suggestions for your mind to actively begin to track it. So you can be curious about the effects that you get as you begin to imagine yourself having a really good day, a successful day, getting through your challenges and beginning to do things in a really good way, perhaps see yourself being relaxed and calm or excited, whatever it is that works for you. But run the movie through inside your mind before you go asleep and begin to pay attention to what actually happens your following day. And you'll be surprised that things will begin to change profoundly. If you're interested, like I am, in exploring the whole world of consciousness, we'd like you to join us on our two-day hypnosis seminar.